So many subplots today. How will Wisconsin react after that embarrassing defeat a week ago? And who will play quarterback for Michigan in the second half today? But first, a little history lesson. Back to last year. Wisconsin unbeaten goes into Ann Arbor and the Wolverines spank them. And look at those numbers. It was not even close. Let me welcome in my colleague today, Gary Danielson. Gary, as uh, Paul Harvey might say, <laughs> let's hear the rest of the story after that game. Brad, you couldn't be more right about this game. To really appreciate today's game, you have to look back to last year and not just the game. After the game, there were things said in the papers, and Wisconsin has to live with, even though they went to the Rose Bowl in Ann Arbor, they're calling them a fraud and exposed. And in Ann Arbor, the players are not surprised that they could lose to, to Cincinnati a week before. This is a team that still has to prove themselves to the Michigan Wolverines, and that's why that focus on Ron Dane is so right. If he doesn't rush for 100 yards, and he never has, we're going to be swapping golf stories in the fourth quarter. <laughs> well, partner, a year ago, it was Dane in Ann Arbor, and it was all Michigan D, a capital D. They held him to 53 yards. Can they do it again? And in Madison, we're about to find out. It's Michigan in Wisconsin. After the penalty, it's first down and five. And here comes Dane again, going nowhere. Tripped up in that backfield by Ian Gold, number 20. Not running the ball like a year ago. First pass of the game. And it is complete, but short of the first down. So Chris Chambers is short of the first down. They need three yards on this third down. Kavanaugh hit on the blitz, deflected incomplete. Rolling in was corner Todd Howard off the corner blitz. Coming hard in Kavanaugh. All right, John, I have a comment on that in a moment. Second down and 10. Brady snaps one off Terrell's first reception of the game. And it's good for about five yards. The point I want to make is they need some sacks. Last year they led the league in sacks. They haven't had it yet so far. The offensive line's doing an excellent job if he can find receivers. Brady's got one. First down, Marquise Walker into Wisconsin territory. But I think, Gary, the point to be made here in the early going is that that Michigan offensive line is really keeping the front clean. Brady had way too much time as far as Wisconsin and its fans are concerned. That's a 21 yard game for a first down for the Wolverines. Play fake Brady, look at the time. Stands all alone in the pocket and nails another first down inside the 30 yard line to Terrell. Inside. The back to the 30 yard line, a play fake again. Going to throw the screen back to Shea. Badgers read it, but the Chris former Gidorzy tight end still pulls his way to the 26-yard line with Gadorzy bringing him down. Going to be interested here on third and seven. Last year they had a guy to Jeremy Tuman. He's not around. Brady will go far sides. Terrell's got the first down. He caught it at about the 20-yard line and then picked up an extra two yards down the sideline with Jamar Fletcher, the cover man, a duel we're going to be watching all day long. Terrell won that round. Second down and nine for the Wolverines. Three. Terrell again on the other side to the eight-yard line. All day. Receivers covered. Now it goes. Got it. Shea. Touchdown, Michigan. Way too much time. And there is a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. I really think it was probably roughing the passer after he let the ball go. So you're right. When you have time, Brent, to say way too much time, and then he throws it, that's too much time. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> and it disgusted Alvarez upstairs look at it 1001 this is real time 1003 1004 1005 nice job by Shea sensing that his quarterback was in trouble and kind of going against the grain for the touchdown the senior quarterback Tom Brady first down and 15 from the No turnovers. Remember what Wisconsin can't do. We talked about it in the solutions of the game. Can't give any cheapies to Michigan. They're too good. This was self-inflicted, too. 
Michigan's got it. A sloppy handoff between your quarterback and your Heisman Trophy running back. Let's see where it hits him. One step left, opens up the right arm. Ball looked like it was placed pretty nicely. You can see that Rondé never had control of it, and oh man, let's see. Rob Renus recovers it for the Wolverines. Play fake Brady, great time. Goes for the home run, Terrell battles for it. Incomplete inside the five yard line. You know, he exudes confidence, and he exudes confidence at a place like Wisconsin. Like, I don't care who we're playing, we could stand up there. He's a great alley fighter. And around, double reverse. Terrell's got it. Terrell swings 40. 30 on a cutback. Terrell in zone. Touchdown, Michigan. The That's double Michigan. reverse. How many double reverses do you see in college football or even high school football for that matter anymore? You get a big turnover and Michigan says, we're gonna go for the heart twice. Here's Terrell right here. He's gonna have to wait a long time to get this double reverse because it's handed off. Little pitch, he starts, A-Train hands it off, one side, then gets a half a block there, stays at the play, and watch him, he's right here, stays at the play all the way, and Terrell A-Train says, follow me. Anthony Thompson says, follow me, big guy, all the way to the end zone. And that's about as easy as you can put six points on the board. And that is as good a job of downfield blocking as I've seen in a long well, time. You know that, that I think anytime Chad Coons is not back there as a bodyguard, the Wolverines are coming. Because he's a terrific blocking fullback. He is back in now. Lead man for Dane. Here he comes. Got a hole open. Dane explodes. Best run of the game. Dane to the 42-yard line. And number 41 blows the hole open for him. Michael Bennett tripped up, going nowhere, and it was the heart of that Michigan defense blowing him in there. Rob Renus just blew his man he right hit. back into the ball exactly carrier. Exactly right, Brent. Bennett didn't step out of the way that time, maybe quick enough for the coaches. Second down and eight, and Kavanaugh going to put it up again. Down the middle, got a man wide open and hits Chambers for a first down at the Michigan 20-yard line. Here's third and five. Two tight ends and no fullback. Chambers in motion. Howard goes with him. Kavanaugh gets time. Feathers one wide open. Touchdown! Oh, my! Oh, he dropped the touchdown pass. Chris Chambers was all alone. Oh, my goodness. So, Pasetsky on to attempt the field goal for Wisconsin. And instead of seven, they settle for three. A 32-yard field goal. Wisconsin on the board, but they're still thinking about what might have been. Time out. You know, wouldn't you love to hear from Bo Schembeck? <laughs> hey, Bo, like to hear well, Bo, what do you think about the two-quarterback system at Michigan? Here's what Bo has to say. The only people that care are the people in the media. Oh, my God, you got to name the starting quarterback. The players don't care. The coaches don't care. They're confident with either one of those guys in there. Now, if you have two guys that are, are fairly equal, one because of experience, the other because of talent, aren't you going to play them both? You sure are, Bo, and here comes the second one. Henson, who's very mobile, will hike it out of bounds, and he got the first down Henson, for Michigan. There's two things. They must like it, right? He would be oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thomas jumps over for a couple of yards. And they outnumber the blockers. Doesn't look that way. Yep. And Hinson going to run for the first down. Great call. Spread the field with the four wideouts and let Hinson do his thing. First down, Michigan. He's off to his left. Looks to the right, though. Going to drop it off underneath the Thomas. There is a penalty flag on the throw. Penalty flag is thrown. Chris Seaman was dropping back to block that time for Hinson. I think they're going to call roughing the pass. They are indeed. And that is a big penalty against the Badger. Well, this is tailback. Play fake to cross. Hinson got time. Oh. Complete and a beautiful rocket. 
right there to the 22-yard line. Folks, that's a big league arm you're looking at right there. Coming out of the backfield in Syracuse last week. Michigan likes to cross their players down here. Let's see if they can get a pick action. Now they've got to get seven yards deep. Play fake. Thomas comes to block. Hinson throws incomplete. Did get it off, and there was a receiver. No intention of grounding, and the young man got it out of there. He was under heavy duress that time. Del Verne, the 36-yarder. Free ball. Hand it off. And Wisconsin will put it in play right there. That was Jamar Fletcher who blocked the field goal. Here's the handoff to Dane. Dane breaks it again. Still on his feet and he goes for the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Oh, what a great Dane run that was. Posetsky. So the extra point is blocked by Michigan. He's got it down now to a workable number of 1,105 overall to pass Ricky. On first and ten, he comes for one record. Not going to pass Archie, I don't believe there. May have got a couple. Kavanaugh gets time, goes Davis, intercepted. Whitley picks it off. Down at the 24-yard line. Superb play by James Whitley, the junior, his second pick of the season. I was just ready to say that the Michigan defense needs to make a play to help their offense. The blitz is coming from this side, and it's picked up well. You see it. It's a zone blitz, though. I think Kavanaugh thought it was man-to-man. -man. Whitley jumped the crossing route and made a wonderful play. The Michigan defense is going to turn it over their offense and say, guys, we saved you. Now make some first downs. I'm beginning to wonder about Anthony Thomas, why this is the second series they've started without him back there at running back. They try to open it up a little bit. They're going to keep Shea as a blocking back, apparently, and that's about a five-yard pass over to the other side to Marquise Walker. Short drop, fire on the slant, first down. Nice pass by Brady to Marquise Walker on the slant for the Wolverine first down. Seaman the right guard, Hutchinson and Bacchus on the other side. Now Brady got one on one, wants Terrell against Fletcher, up goes Terrell! What a catch he makes! The duel, and Terrell beats him. He's literally flying flying late. He's going to get a 15-yard penalty on it, and it is deserved. Great coverage by Fletcher on a stutter route by David Terrell. 41-yard pass play that's going to get a 15 yards going the other way. What did he do, Gary? He posed to the stands, taunted the stands. We called attention to himself, yeah, which is the rule. It's automatic. There's the signal for the unsportsmanlike conduct. We got this. We talked about it, a matchup. Watch the coverage. Fletcher's right in his pocket. Watch the stutter right here. Fletcher doesn't go for it. He turns. He looks for the ball. Terrell's bigger. Goes up and catches it. It just makes an outstanding play. Now, watch the pose. That's 15 yards. So in this formation, they've got three wideouts. Shea is still in. Hit from behind. Brady is sacked. Wendell Bryant again. The professional football player playing for Wisconsin right here. He beat two offensive linemen for Michigan. There's Dane. That was for an extra yard that time. They show blitz, Michigan does. They crush Dane at the 21 yard line. Press defense by the Wolverines. Faulkner play fake to him. Have an eye in trouble and sacked at the 24-yard line. And big number 56, James Hall, rolling in again. Dane, the running back. Here he comes. They pound with him. And Michigan, where he was coming that time. Jones, you can see him getting off that pile. And Gold 
Josh Williams there. Let's check in with Leslie. They need two yards on third down, and here comes the great Dane is upended by Gold. Gold gets in low on him and sends him airborne. What a tackle by Ian Gold. Man, you're exactly right. Like a rocket coming in there. Beats the isolation right up the gut. Michigan was playing very conservative. This is how Ron saw it. Gets the ball right up takes his legs out and then from the other side to get a defensive end hitting him from the other side. Nice. Wow. You know, Gary Stimke got off a 54-yard punt that time. He only lose about five yards to Terrell, who's out of bounds and not posing this time. Just a baby. Great. Can't find. Now underneath, got Marquise Walker out of bounds. At the 22-yard line, first down Michigan, a huge pass play for Tom Brady here. Michigan has not scored since the opening quarter. A little delay action here, and Thomas squeezes his way to the 27-yard line. They are short drop, Marquise Walker, short of the first down. He is ripped by Mike Eccles, the other corner. We've been ready really is set to be the lead blocker for him. Here he comes, and he cuts the other way, but picks up the first down. Nice run. And Brady Brady Thomas. First down at 10. Brady got one-on-one. -on -one. Marcus Knight going deep. Got it. Marcus Knight makes a beautiful over-the-shoulder catch at the 26-yard line. That's a Willie Mays catch there. The ball was poorly thrown by Tom Brady. It got him a little bit of trouble against Syracuse when he threw those last two passes poorly, and it kind of cost him the starting job, the second half job against Syracuse. Watch this throw. It doesn't have enough on it. Marcus gets to go and does a Willie Mays over the shoulder, wrong shoulder catch. That's an incredible catch. Yeah, it really was a beautiful catch. Eccles uh, can't do a thing about it. Back on the field after missing one play, it's a 39-yard gain. Big play, Michigan. First down for the 26, play fakes a beauty by Brady. Got time, but can't find anybody open, so he'll hook it. And you can see he's not the fastest man of foot, slammed at the 20-yard line. Short drop, cut fake, Brady goes in zone, got Johnson, got it. Touchdown, Michigan! Touchdown, Michigan! Diallo Johnson! Goes up for the Brady touchdown pass, and the quarterback controversy at Michigan may have come to an end in Madison, Wisconsin. What a gutsy call by Mike DeBoer. He went for it all. Diallo's going to come in and fake the slant and then go around. Look at how Wisconsin's going to bite on it. Gets the perfect call at the perfect time. Brady drives him the length of the field and puts the points on the board. A great job for Tom Brady. Well done. Pounds the extra point, a little breathing room for and Michigan. The is good. The Wolverine is fans 21. breathing just a little it's easier after that one, 21-9. And the Badgers must play catch-up football. Dane goes nowhere. Eddie Faulkner from NC, Indiana, checks in at running back. And on second down, Howard, the defender, short of the first down. We've come to the end of the third quarter. So Tom Brady returns from Michigan, and the Wolverines lead at 21-9. Very reminiscent of a year ago. Exactly. Third down and nine. Kavanaugh pulls out blitz from Jones, who's got him at the 14-yard line. Jones and Grady Brooks back at it all over Kavanaugh. Badgers Kavanaugh forced to punt. Heavily, heavily favored. Second down and 20. Brady. Fires got to run the foot race with Fletcher. Terrell is hit, and it's picked at the 45. What an interception. Terrell says you got to throw a flag, but Bobby Myers says, no, you don't. I made the interception. Dane for a yard or two to go. Check that. It was Michael Bennett. Let me check that. It was Michael Bennett. Dane's behind him. Play fake to him. Rolls looks fullback on the fly. And it's incomplete. Todd Howard doing an outstanding job of defending Demetrius Brown. Chambers the motion wide out. Ballinger fires. Oh, great catch by Chambers, but it's short of the first down, I believe, by maybe a half a yard or so. Dane's right behind Coons. I'm banking on number 33. The option. Dane can't get a tug up. Why would they use an option down there, Gary Danielson?
when the shortest distance between two points is to hammer straight ahead. People in Wisconsin are going to have nightmares about the option play against Michigan. Last year it was a disaster when Ron Dane went the wrong way on three different occasions. The temptation for Wisconsin was, we have a running quarterback, let's try to get him involved. The Michigan defense has seen a lot of option football. They were ready for it. They held Syracuse to 49 yards rushing. Putting oh, Dane out in space without, no, I'm not buying that. Dahani Jones didn't buy it either, folks. He made a big time play. And now Michigan with a lead as both starting quarterbacks driven out of this hard hitting game. Well, there's Dane and many of the fans are asking, why not use that play for one yard? <laughs> Ballinger. Can't get it off. Foot's all over him at the 15-yard line. Larry Foot, the sophomore linebacker, sacks him. They'll yeah, cover yeah, yeah. two from Michigan right now against Ballinger. He'll run the quarterback draw. Good-looking running back. But not enough for a first down. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's a problem. Their speed to the football, all 11 of them, is mesmerizing. From the shotgun, juggle, holding on as he was going down was a lot merit. And that's a first down, Wisconsin, at the 39-yard line. Nice catch for 20 yards. St. Really great high school program down there. Ballinger. Finds the open man, another first down. The clock is stopped its chambers this time, and... Uh, Brooks looks good here on his Down last two the passes. Line, Michigan. Renus always plays well at that nose spot. Ballinger trying to step out of trouble. Does beautiful. What footwork. First down, Wisconsin. Clock stops at the 25. That was nifty. Could have been even closer than that. Second down and eight. Ballinger dances his left. Look at him run. Oh, watch the clip. There's Downs for the touchdown in the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Still a football game. Has to travel 10 yards before the Badgers can take a crack at him. He's a hop. Got his high hop in the air. But Michigan goes up for it. Oh, that's a beautiful hop on an onside kick. Just what you want, a jump ball in that corner. But Michigan's good hands people were equal to the task. And look who's getting up, ladies and gentlemen. The A train, Anthony Thomas. And they're still going to ride him to either New Orleans or Pasadena. Watch and see. Perfect execution. One hop. The second hop goes high. Anthony Thomas goes up and gets it at its highest point. That's a heck of a coaching job that this man has done. Lloyd Carr and Michigan. Win it 21 to 16. That's and our final score. Stay tuned for the thrifty Carmelo post game. <laughs> All right, there it is. Final score: Michigan 21, Wisconsin 16. Stay tuned now for the thrifty Carmelo post game report. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Part of the Go Network. Dial it up. You'll get all the scores throughout the day. So long, everybody.